Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna and we got some guests. Yes, we got this uh, bighorn you and the ram over here. Uh, yeah, and I saw Baby earlier that was over there. Yeah, it's over there in the distance. So they decided to come and hang around. Uh, let's just not get too close to this guy. Otherwise, he's just going to go and try and kick my butt. And we don't want that. So last time I wanted to do my... Uh, <laughs> my outfit my taylor gamboy's helmet gamberson body and leg armor and uh yeah i couldn't because of restrictions but there is a way around that now since i'm not going to be doing a series about this uh, for each class there is a way to not be limited by the class for building now to do that i don't remember it by heart so rick is we're going to put it up on the screen uh there you go uh just put it everywhere more, more of them. Okay, and it'll also be in the description below. So we're gonna grab all of our blue cloth. We're gonna grab our sewing kits, and I do have all this flax twine that I'm gonna be uh, gathering, and then we'll be able to start producing our armor. So for the helmet, we need uh, this, that, and a little sewing kit in the middle. And there we go, we got ourselves our helmet. Body armor is the one that uses the most. So let's go ahead and do that. Sewing kit in the bottom, and there you go, we got ourselves the body armor. And for the leg armor, we're gonna be reusing the rest. So sewing kit up top, and we got two flax twine at the bottom, and there we go. We have our full set of armor. Now in the last episode, uh, yeah, I got my little iron armor damage slightly it's a little bummer but uh, you know we'll be able to fix it eventually for now i just need to make some more uh, iron chains at least right now i can start equipping this and there we go we got our full set and what do we look like we look very blue we look very blue indeed. So now I'm going to feel a little bit more confident when traveling down south. Now, what I want to do is uh, because we're going to be traveling for quite a while, I need to cook some stuff. I really do. Now, we got all of our dyes. We got some black dye over here. We got the remainder of the blue dye. I, th I, did I thought I'd need two barrels, but uh, apparently that wasn't a case. We got ourselves our red currant juice. I'm going to be filling that bottle up. And uh, let's start making a couple of recipes. I'm gonna be using the eggs to make the recipes and uh, probably gonna use a couple of uh, vegetables. I got plenty. I got, I got plenty of freaking vegetables everywhere. So let's grab a stack of this, stir up that. I'll want to grab uh, maybe one or two of these. Let me just put that in my inventory here. I'll be wanting three crock pots that are quite full. We got some cooking to do before we can actually be ready for our journey. And there you go. All four cracks are there. Let's uh, put these on there. What, what is this? Okay, that has nothing. So let's go ahead and start making some scrambled eggs. And I think these recipes are going to last for quite a while. Now I'm just going to go get myself some peat, which is another thing that I'm kind of running a little low on set these guys ablaze and we'll be able to start cooking and there you go there goes another recipe so i will wait for this to be ready and we're going to stick them in the crock pot while we're waiting for that to be done i'm going to grab some of the sulfur powder and uh we can make ourselves some more honey sulfur poultice we still have plenty of uh honey downstairs so yeah let's get that done and i just made myself also uh two batches of rye porridge with mashed up carrots and turnips uh, apparently i didn't put them in the same order that means i can't get that extra two to put in the same other crock pot uh now these guys uh yeah i gotta not forget to seal those there you go you as well and that's gonna be enough i also brought a package of uh, pickled cabbage You're good for 1.5 years so i can pretty much uh, guarantee that i will not run out of food while i'm going away i'm also bringing myself some honey sulfur poultice which uh, i believe is going to be pretty good if i ever get injured that's going to be able to uh, take care of that but with this all set, I got brought myself some planks just in case. You never know. We're going to be ready for our journey. Now, I just got to clear out a little bit of this inventory. I don't need to have all of this on me. And I'm going to bring a little bit of rope ladders. Those are going to come in handy if I encounter a cave or something of the sort. 
Now, with all of this set, I believe I will be good for my journey. I have my prospecting pick just in case, I got my iron pickaxe and a spare one just in case I need it, a stack of low fertility soil, wooden ladders, rope ladders, and a whole bunch of torches, healies, and plenty of food. So, let's drink a little bit to celebrate the leaving of this place, and hopefully I will find myself some limestone. Now, how are, how are you guys doing? Do you have plenty of food or don't don't you don't you dare? I gotta run inside here. All right, okay, maybe feeding these guys are is not a bad idea before I depart. I do have some uh, dry currant mash left. Sounds extremely delicious. Uh, have a little bit of that. Apparently that was enough, but uh, I did bring some flax grain as well, so we can fill that one in. Here you go. You guys are gonna be okay, right? I'm gonna be gone for a few days. And apparently you guys can uh, kind of stick around. Yeah, I'm attracting all sorts of wildlife around here. And uh, let's feed our chickens as well. But I, I believe that they had enough food left. Oh, look at that. You guys be, should be good for quite a while. Uh, Todd, you take care of the bees, okay? Are you, is everything going to be good? Well, I'm going to miss you too, buddy. Anyways, let us depart finally. We have a long journey ahead of us. Now, I have explored, I have went this way and found a lot of stuff, found a lot of interesting things. But I always like to take new paths to see what else I can discover along the way. So what I believe I'm going to do, uh, maybe I could head west or east and then go downwards and uh, kind of discover some new places. West or east? Hmm, it's a tough one. We'll go west. I'm going to miss my little home. I sure am. Well, guys, I have been traveling for quite a while. I don't know if I can kind of zoom in and... Yeah, this is where I went last time. Uh, I've gotten all the way down here now. And uh, yeah, no, the, the trip went well. Nothing happened. What is that, Rick? No, don't, don't, don't do that. Well, you, you look at this. Our first find. Oh, we got a little bit of uh, copper, native copper over here. Nice. And um, I might just kind of take a little bit of time and see if there's anything underneath here. Uh -huh. I think we've made a discovery. It's a freaking cave. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I meant by finding anything like that. I wanted to find a freaking special place. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, no. No. Run. Oh, and of course it had to rain. Now I'm all freaking wet. Yay. And a surprise, I've been traveling for quite a while and I still haven't encountered a wolf. Oh shit, am I gonna jinx it? Oh shit, oh shit, no, leave me alone, no, 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 go, be gone. Oh, freaking hell, a bear over there. Ah, I'm the king of the world! Oh shit, oh shit, no, go, run, 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 run. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, they're right, he's right behind me, run! Ooh, what is this? You're definitely coming with me. Hello, Wilding. May I see your wares? You. I have a lantern, and I'm not afraid to use it. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. No, sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. They're still after me. Ow. Ooh. A scythe. Hello. Limestone. Where are you? Hmm is a big freaking tree. Uh, it's time for a snack. Time to eat up. Uh, sir, do you know where I can find some limestone? Really? Okay, yeah, totally get it. Well, you just had to show them now, didn't you? Anyways, uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of uh, things happening, but uh, now I look down this hole, I saw a little white spot on my map, as you can see over there. Zoom in on that. Thank you. And uh, I believe we have finally found our limestone. Yes, it's down there. I can see it. I can smell it. Oh my god. Oh sh shoot. Um <laughs> fine. Well, you know what? It isn't limestone. This is chalk sand. Chalk rock. And uh, what can I do with uh, said chalk rock? Uh, first of all, I, I it would appear that I, I got these guys I got to deal with. Hi. Hey. Ow. Okay, you guys are just making me fall even deeper inside here. This is not good. Uh, ow. Stop throwing stones at me, you dicks. I finally made it here. Uh, last thing I need is to freaking die. So, take that. 
Okay. Deep Drifters. Uh, we got some more? No? Yes? No? Anyways, I think I should set down a couple of torches down here. Uh, light up the space. Maybe it'll stop them from me spawning. Oh, I see you, you dick. Get over here. Get over here. Freaking hell. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, kind of see what they have. Oh, there's still some more. Okay, I'm going to set down some torches everywhere. There's plenty of them down there. They're just having to swim. Uh, <laughs> uh freaking hell. Okay. No, we'll take care of them. We'll take care of them. I, I don't want you guys keep on coming up and uh, making this uh, complicated, making, making it harder than it's supposed to be. And I also managed to find myself some slate rocks. These I can make some uh, roofings with. These are quite nice. And uh, eventually I think I'll explore this cave a little bit more. Who knows, maybe I'll find myself something interesting. Maybe another teleporter that'll teleport me right back home. Eh? Wouldn't that be sweet? Because uh, th the journey here took quite a while. Yeah, I'm just going to take care of these guys now. And uh, I, I got to watch out and heal up afterwards. <laughs> hey, stop it. Stop it. The journey has been long and I don't have, I don't feel like dealing with your, oh my God, there's so many of them. I don't feel like dealing with your bullshit. Ow, damn it. All right, let's, uh, let's get that over here. I'm going to heal up just a tad. Okay. Now, if I look at this chalk stone, I could turn that into lime. And I could turn it into quick lime. So I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making, uh, getting my fill of this. Now, first of all, what I want to do is actually uh, drop my rate right here. I'll kind of show you what I've gotten along the way. Now, you've seen uh, that I've gotten some ancient pillars and slabs and all that. I got all my food as usual. Uh, nuggets, I might not keep this. If I need the space, I might throw those away. But I did get myself a little bit of a slate stone. And my inventory has some room on it, and I'm keep being disturbed by these fellas. Hi, hey. You know what? I might just build a wall. <laughs> I'm gonna build a wall so you guys can't go through. Are, are you done? Are you freaking done? Jesus. See this wall? Well, you shall not pass, okay? Oh my god. There's still gonna be some trying to inevitably to kick my butt. Okay, that should keep him away from me. So let's start mining some of this. Ow. Oh, really? Really? Okay. You stay down there. You just stay down there, dick. So I believe a fast forward animation is uh, due for this, right, Rick? Huh? Oh, for crying out loud. Really? How did you get through? How did you get through? All right. Can't you say I'm busy here? I'm mining. This is not just yours. I can take some. You got plenty more. Well, it would appear my inventory is full. I got a couple of stacks of these. This is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, apparently I got some slate stones. Now, before I actually depart this place, oh yeah, you can see that they found a way through. They found a way to get here. Oh, buggers. Get over here. Yeah, go and die down there. All right, so before I proceed, I'm just gonna grab a little, why do I have water? Okay, before I proceed, let's just grab a little something to eat and then we'll be uh, good to go. Now, I'm gonna stick that on my back. Okay, I still have some room for some chalk. Let's uh, just make sure I fill that up completely. And after that, we can kind of look around in the caves. Maybe this is a risky since, uh, you know, I've traveled all this freaking way, but I'm willing to give it a go. That's good. I maxed that out to 64. Maybe there are some things like some of these arrows I could part with so I can carry some more home. I just want to make sure I never have to run back here again. Basically, that's all I got to make sure about. And I, I really like to have a couple of the stacks of slate stones as well, since, uh, again, that is an easy way to make some roofing. 
So now that my inventory is full, I can kind of open up the passage here and I want to check out what's down there. Now I'll stick my bandages in a little shortcut bar just in case. Oh, hi. Hey, how's it going, sir? Yep. Oh my god, I am completely surrounded. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Guys, uh, chill, dude. Chill. You're gonna bust up my armor. I don't like this. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Get away. Don't, where are you going? No, you want to start this? I'm gonna finish this. Bastards. Okay, let's uh, get our lantern out. Let's kill the remainder. And let's go take a look around. Now, over here we got a lot more chalk stone. Which is pretty damn good. I could always come back here. And I was actually contemplating. Maybe I should... Oh, okay. We got something over there. Let's go take a look. Alright, so we made ourselves a little pathway. Let's go inside and see if we can find anything in here. Hello? Just, uh... Just two rest of gears, right? <laughs> right? Oh, fine. Throw those away. I'll pick up the rest of gears. Those are always good to have. And, uh, yeah, I did meet with some traders along the way. None of them, sadly, sold anything quite of interest. So I just ignore them. I mean, there are plenty of traders out there. Of course, some of them were uh, selling lime. But I don't want to have to rely on that to get my limestone. To get my quick lime, actually. I wanted to find my own source of limestone. Or lime. Well, chalk technically isn't the same exact thing, but it gives the same result, so... Hells yes! So, we got a little thing going down here, and that looks, uh... That looks quite bad. I'm gonna go down slowly, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet up with Sawbutt. And I did bring these rope ladders for a reason. I built one too many. Oh my god, really? Why don't you fall down the freaking hole and die down there? Dick. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. Okay, killed him. Yeah, if we find a locust, a Saba, I'm gonna be running. Yeah, because those are death. Those are death. Hey, how, are you, how come you're still alive? Die. Okay, so over here, this goes lower and lower up, up until a dead end. So there's nothing over here. I mean, there could be some good resources. Let me give this little fella a go. Uh, no ores nearby. Okay, okay. I would expect there. Oh, oh, we're finding some uh, bigger, badder enemies down there. These guys are gonna hurt a little bit more. Ouch! As I said. Ow! Oh my God! All right, let me let me patch myself up just a tinsy wince, and uh, yeah, let's kill these this one as well. And uh, I might as well loot this guy. Sometimes you can find some good stuff for uh, from higher tier enemies. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Okay, I see that there's some saltpeter here. I didn't mean to fall down here. I really didn't. Okay, uh, let's improvise. Let's uh, uh, block the way. Oh my god. Try not block the way so these guys can't get in. Okay. Okay. Um, I fell down a hole. <laughs> you guys all saw that? I fell down a freaking hole. And now these guys are all uh, down there. And uh, maybe they can kind of kill each other off. Yeah, that's it. Fight! Fight to the death! <laughs> 500 into that one. Yep, it died. It died. Well, I do have my bow and arrow. Maybe I can kind of use it. Maybe I can get a few lucky shots here and there. Yeah, take that. Take a little bit of that. And I think this is the only dude left. Alright, let's, uh, let's finish him off. Okay, well, that, wa that was bad. <laughs> so bad. I did manage to get myself out of that sticky situation there, but uh, I was a little worried for a second. Can I pick that up? No? Eh, fine. So, as you can see, we got a nice source of saltpeter here, but I did find some closer sources to home. So, I don't think I'm going to be uh, marking this. Well, I'm going to be marking this place for Chalk for sure. In case I ever need to come back, I would just wish there was a closer source to home. This is insanely far. Alright, let's go back up here before I fell stupidly inside the hole. And let's go check what we have over here. We got some loose flint, a lot of quartz, and uh, some more saltpeter. Huh. Well, that is a very interesting cave. 
<laughs> very interesting cave indeed. Now, if we go over to the other side over here, maybe we'll find something else of interest. Well, there's some more chalkstone, and that's about it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm kind of extremely satisfied after all this time, uh, never finding any limestone or any way to make myself some uh, plaster. At least with this over here, I got what I wanted. Oh, seriously? Seriously, dude. Come on. Give it a, give it a break. All right. And you can pick those right up by right-clicking. That is awesome. Hey, nope. No, 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 no. You die. You die. And apparently we got some Galena. Yeah. We could have ourselves uh, some lead if we wanted to. But uh, there are closer sources from home. So, you know what? I believe I'm quite satisfied over here. <laughs> and how did I get down here again? Did I set down a ladder or did I just fall? Yeah, that's right. It's stupid granite. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to put a ladder and we're going to get our way to the surface. Well, good thing those didn't hit me. All right, let's go up there. And of course, it is freaking night and there's some more of them out there. Ah, come on. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, got rid of these guys. So I will put a little marker over here for chalk. And I know, I wrote chalt and not chalk. And can I edit this? Yes, I can. All right. And then I believe what will be the time to do is run all the way back freaking home. Oh, my God. Hey, you know what? In all these journeys, sometimes you meet some interesting people. Sometimes you come across some interesting places. So, yeah, I'll be doing that. And I will see you back home on the next episode. And hopefully, hopefully, I never have to come back here again. But with all the amount of chalk that I've collected, I'll be able to finish off my home. I'm pretty sure of it. So guys, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. And I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.